the violin thing in cycle. You're just simple, but right on the money. Bernard Herman, you know, started out doing music for radio with Orson Welles. Mercury Theater on the Air presents Orson Welles. Here's the real power of music on the radio with no visuals whatsoever. Some of my favorites for him and Jerry Goldsmith, you know, who was also a big influence on horror, The Twilight Zone. And those scores to this day are still some of my favorite scores and we associate them with these big movies they've done, but go listen to their Twilight Zone episodes. They're amazing. My name is Talkie Tina and you'll be sorry. Like many people, my first exposure to the composer Bernard Herrmann was through Hitchcock movies and specifically Psycho. And wondering what those sounds were and understanding that they were violins and violas and everything, but it was an approach and an attack scheme that I hadn't heard up to that point. Bernard Herrmann took risks and did things that nobody else was willing to do. For example, Psycho, where he just says, it's all strings. And you go like, hmm. You could tell that he knew how to do it the normal way, but he was taking a bit of a outside approach around the curve. The guy had a extremely rebellious nature about him. Of course, the shower scene. Hitchcock originally didn't want music there, and I think Bernard Herrmann just wrote it. Originally, the plan was in our discussions not to have any music over any of the murder scenes. However, I differed with Hitch about this and felt that music was needed. The guy had balls. He took that material and got every emotion you can out of it. He had his own vocabulary, his own approach. He was an innovator. And he's a great role model for all of us. 